Welcome back everyone. We're here with another Paladin video, this time Retribution Paladin. We're just going to do a quick guide to Retribution Paladin. It's pretty straightforward. Um, once you understand your priority seals and your rotation with those seals and your your window, your you know, your global cooldown window that you want to burn all at the same time. Um or your your Hodge window, your Hammer of Justice window, basically. Uh, so we'll cover talents. We'll look at a rotation um, when it's single target versus multiple targets. We'll talk about the seal of martyrdom changes. We'll look at runes. Obviously, uh, your runes can change depending on your role. So without further ado, we're going to start with some talents. Obviously, Blessing of Might, Prove Judgment, more damage, more damage. Conviction, obviously, this is your main... This is why we do it. We want this crit uh, and crew improves critical strike with melee by 5%. We'll jump into more later with gear about crit and critical strike. Now, if you have the boot enchant um, speed, do not take this. They don't stack. There's no point. It does apply to your mounted, but here pretty soon we're all going to be rocking a carrot on a stick, so it's not going to matter. Improved red aura. You're going to take this. If you do a lot of player versus player, which most retribution paladins do, take eye for an eye. Or if you really don't care and you would rather have the points into mana then just put it into mana um, and another thing right now I would say currently and what I mean by currently is as of recording this video March the 2nd 2024 we are three days before the seal of martyrdom changes um, take this for now three here um, like I said if you do a lot of PvP put the two an eye for an eye instead of the mana um, Sanctity Aura. Increase your holy damage 10%. Right? I mean, it's 10% more holy damage. Right? You know. Five in a Vengeance. One over here in the Strength. That's it. This is going to be your basic Retribution build for most scenarios, uh, most dungeons, most raids. Feet of War. Feet, the Art of War. I call it Feet of War. Um, Melee, Critical Strikes, Reset the Cooldown on Holy Shock and Exorcism. Legs, exorcism. Exorcism can now be used on cast on any target and has a 100% increased critical strike chance against undead and demons. So if you're fighting an undead or a demon, you're always going to crit. Sheath of Light is just your basic buff. Uh, it, it takes your attack power, takes 30% of your attack power, and converts it into spell power. Uh, Crusader Strike. Take it. You need it. You're going to have to have it. Um, now, if you're off tanking raid... And a reckoning. This only applies on the croc on the first boss. Divine Storm, 99% of the time. Alright, now that we have our talents set up, our runes set up, we are ready. Let's go over a basic rotation. Anytime before you attack anything, Silo Crusader has to be up. You need it. Um, it procs your Sheath of Light, which gives your Sheath of Light more spell power because this gives you more attack power. Uh, it says granting 185 a melee attack power. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to judge mint the seal of the crusader on a mob. The first mob, preferably. Don't tab target a lot. Of uh, Unleashing the seal will judge an enemy for 10 seconds, increasing your holy damage, taken by up to 92. Try to do that before an exorcism. Sometimes it's difficult because you start getting into the pattern of what you need to do and you kind of pre-click at least i do i don't click but i you pre-cast on accident and exorcism before a judgment i do it a lot um sometimes i use exorcism to pool as well try to avoid that as much as possible so basically your goal is going to debuff you need to debuff this target but before you can do that what i mean by debuff is casting judgment with Seal of the Crusader. But before you want to do that, you want to get one melee hit. Make sure you have Blessing of Might up all the time on yourself or another Paladin having it up on you. We are going to hit him. That is going to proc Sheath of Light. Our spell damage is now increased by 231. So we're going to hit him with a Judgment. That's going to debuff him, increasing Holy Damage taken by up to 80. We can exorcism into a seal of command. 
into a crusader strike but you see we got a crit so we could back go into exorcism but he died before that so again still the crusader hit judge exorcism still command crusader strike now you're at a point now where you don't really have anything to do divine storm and you're waiting on a crit when they get to a certain HP, you can do the Hodge stun into a judgment and hope for a crit or hope for a death. We didn't get it either. Um, why I say Hodge judgment, Seal of Command does double damage. Unleashing this seal's energy will judge an enemy instantly causing 102 to 112. But if you see the next sentence, if the target is stunned or incapacitated, it will do 224 up to. 224. If you're facing multiple mobs, your, your rotation is going to kind of be the same. Let's say we have two mobs that are beside each other like this. You're going to Divine Storm earlier than Crusader Strike because, like I said, you're waiting for a crit. And if you Divine Storm two mobs, that's two dice rolls. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our seal of the Crusader is up. Now, we know this is a dangerous area, so we're just going to pull them out here with an Exorcism. Now, he does not have the debuff yet, so we're going to apply the debuff on him. We're going to Divine Storm, since there's more than one, and just go through our normal waiting for a crit. Keep Exorcism on cooldown, and just keep swimming. Basically. See, there's our crit. We can Exorcism. You do not proc Exorcism off an Exorcism crit, which I think needs to be changed. That's just my opinion. Again, same thing. Hammer of Justice into a judgment from sealed command i would even say prioritize divine storm over crusader strike if there's multiple targets because this is one dice roll this is up to four dice rolls on a crit and you're almost guaranteed a critical strike any advanced rotations that's going to come later We're, we have to see what's going to happen with seal of martyrdom uh it is getting a buff will it take place of seal of command we don't know. Uh, it, it, the problem with Seal of Martyrdom is a single target. Uh, I don't think that was what should have been done for Paladins. I think we needed a baseline attack power increase. Maybe by 20%. Divine Storm will always reign supreme in dungeons. Seal of Martyrdom, we need more numbers. And we're going to get them. I will be raiding today on stream. If you want to come by and watch, we'll be doing Nomer. And I will be using Seal of Martyrdom the entire raid. Um, we're going to give it a try. Now, for any form of add-ons, you really don't need a lot. Like, if you look at my screen, I have more add-ons than you would believe. Um, you don't need a lot of add-ons. You hardly need any, to be honest, to play World of Warcraft. You need none to play World of Warcraft. You know, you want some to play World of Warcraft. So, the basic add-ons I would definitely tell someone is a swing timer. Uh, they're easily... You can find those anywhere. Uh, if you haven't downloaded the app called Curse Forge, make sure you download this app. You can get this app from the Curse website. It is a basically a program that you will open on your computer and you can search for add-ons, swing, timer. It will automatically install them for you. You just hit install. It'll do what it needs to do. Um, you can go to the website as well. At the Curse Forge website, you're going to go to World of Warcraft. Um, you can search for Swing Timer as well. Uh, and then over here on the left, you need to make sure you have WoW Classic selected because they all don't work with each other. You have a pretty one here called Weapon Swing Timer. It'll show you main hand, off hand. You have some settings you can go through. Uh, you have some appearance. Don't It'll tell you when to not do stuff, which is great. You're going to hit install on the Curse Forge app. It's going to ask you your game instance. You're going to hit classic and you'll hit install. And that is it. You will open this app every time you play just to make sure there are no updates. It will auto update for you. Great app. So I want to talk about some retribution tanking. Uh, you will be tanking as retribution. As you can see in the clip behind you, this is tanking as retribution. Uh, 
there's only a few things you're going to change. You are going to get rid of your Crusader Strike for your Taunt if you need it. If your DPS is low, then get Taunt. I did not have Taunt here. If you look at my bars, I didn't need it. Just remember, Hill of the Crusader, Melee, Judgment, Exorcism. If there's more than one, Divine Storm. If there's one, Crusader Strike. Keep these three abilities on cooldown. Hope for a crit. Scylla Command for now. This might change. Stay tuned. Uh, off Tank Raid. Switch to Hand of Reckoning. If you have a shield in your inventory, you can put on Avenger Shield and just Weapon Swap. Then keep Avenger Shield on cooldown. What I mean by that is have your macro for your weapon or a keybind for your weapon and a keybind for your shield. Uh, put on your shield, cast Avenger Shield, put back on your weapon and attack. Uh, rebuke might be your better option. If you're off tanking Nomer, first boss requires regroup, uh, rebuke. You will be silencing the croc. Petrify has to be silenced. But that'll be it pretty much for this retribution guide. I didn't want to go into too much detail. We're not going to number crunch. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Very simple. Very to the point. Make sure you guys like the video. Leave a comment down below. Thanks for being here this long. And enjoy the paladin. And I'll keep you updated. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of YouTube videos about the Silamardrum. And I'll try to get one out as well. Uh, and we are going to be running it tonight in Nomer. So come by the stream starting around eh, 5 p.m. East Coast. See you in the next one.